Welcome to Vegan Method. In this video, I'm making ravioli stuffed pizza bites. So the first thing we need to do is get the pizza base made and let that prove. So what we need for that is two and a half cups of flour. I've got one cup of warm water, one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, one teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of yeast. First we mix together the dry ingredients and then we're going to add the water and the olive oil and then I'm going to mix it in and make the pizza base and then I'm going to leave that on the side for one hour before getting my other ingredients ready to make these ravioli pizza bites. So just over an hour later the pizza base has risen and it's ready and for the stuffing I've got some tomato puree, some mushrooms which have been chopped, red onions, peppers, chopped garlic sun-dried tomatoes and some melty vegan cheese. The next thing we're going to do is get some oil and we're going to cook through the peppers, onions and garlic so they're soft. When it goes into the pizza bites it wouldn't cook fully in the oven so I'm just going to soften them before I put them into the pizza. While the peppers, onion and garlic are cooling I'm just going to get the pizza dough and I'm going to cut it into four pieces and I'm going to use one piece first I'm going to roll it out into as perfect a rectangle as possible. So with a little bit of folding and rolling I've now managed to get a rectangle and what I've done I've made a little mark with my finger of where each equal area would be for filling the ravioli. And it's just as simple as putting in the filling uh, into the ravioli bites and what I'll do I'll then fold it over and then I'll cut it into three pieces. So I'll speed up the filling part and then I'll show you the cutting and the sealing. With the filling you can obviously put in anything you like of these ravioli bites um, and you can also make them smaller. The size I've chosen is quite big for ravioli because I want them to be snack size so a couple would be filling um, rather than make really tiny bite size. So now I've folded the pizza base I'm just going to cut it into thirds and I'm going to use a fork to seal the edges. This will also make it look like ravioli. And we just repeat for the other ravioli pizza bites. Now I've got an alternative way of making these. What you can do is get the pizza base and put the filling in the middle. Now if you've got a ravioli press, what you can do is put a top on. You can flatten it out so you can see where your filling is. And you take the press and you just press out the shapes that you want. Now I don't have a square ravioli press. I've got a heart shaped one. So what I did, I made some heart shaped ravioli bites also with the same ingredients and the same filling. The final thing to do before popping them into the oven is to add some tomato puree to the top of the pizza bites and then sprinkle some of the melted cheese on top. When this comes out of the oven the puree and the cheese will have melted together and what you'll do is get a little bit of a crispy topping. It's perfect. So roughly 10 to 12 minutes later I've taken them out of the oven. They've all cooked perfectly through. They look great, they taste great, they smell amazing and this is just an easy way of making snacks for the kids or for yourself. So thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to like, subscribe or leave your comments below.